Hi guys, Andreas here and welcome to another video. So last week during my review of the Sony 20mm f1.8 G, uh, you might notice if you watched that video that I struggled a little bit with audio quality and audio consistency. Uh, and that's despite trying to post-process everything. There are a couple of reasons for this. One, the mic that I'm using is the B Boya BY-MM1, uh, which so far has served me pretty well as a relatively cheap shotgun mic. I think it was like 40 bucks Canadian when I bought it. So uh, like uh, 10 cents US maybe. Uh, so it was pretty cheap. Um, at, but it's not terribly consistent uh, depending on where you mount it and how far you can get from it to get consistently good audio, right? The other issue, of course, is that when I'm filming on the Sony a7C as I am right now, I've typically had the uh, shotgun mic, the Boya, on top of the camera. And given that I'm using the Sony 20 millimeter lens, I'm able to get relatively close and get decent sound quality that way, right? The problem with consistency is that when I unplug it from here and, for example, do a top-down shot and the mic is much closer to my mouth or plug the mic into the computer to show you guys some stuff in Lightroom, that's when it sort of changes a little bit, right? And I had a, lot, a very hard time making all those things sound similar. So my solution that we're going to test out this week is twofold. Number one, uh, we're going to position the microphone a little bit more consistently across all the shots in terms of distance from my mouth. Hopefully that will get me uh, consistent levels and consistent uh, noise in every clip, right? The other thing we're going to be testing is the new Deity VMic D3 that I recently purchased. And we're going to unbox it and then we're going to test it against the Boya to see if there really is a huge sound difference. Now, price-wise, I got this one on an Amazon Lightning deal uh, for 115 bucks Canadian, which is about 89, 90 bucks US, somewhere there about. So we're gonna be comparing a mic that's double the price. From all the reviews I've seen from the Deity View Mic D3, it's not the pro version, keep in mind, it's just the regular one. Uh, it sounds pretty good and I think it might complement my voice a little better. So let's unbox this thing and try it out. All right. So let's get this thing open and see what comes in the box. I've already cut the little seal um, just because I didn't want to waste any of your guys' time and being considerate. All right, so fairly simple packaging here. Pick up the plastic and we've got a little AAA battery that comes with it, which is always nice when they include the batteries. A little TRRS to TRRS cable. Now, apparently this mic is a smart mic and recognizes what it's being plugged into. So that'll be interesting to check out. And the mic itself, there it is. The Deity D3 V mic or V mic D3, I guess. One of the cool things about this mic that I saw in the reviews that I, I'm really interested by is the Ryko shock mount because um, it's adjustable back and forward like this, which is really interesting. Um, it gives you the ability to perform, you know, micro adjustments on the distance of your mic uh, after it's mounted to something like a boom arm or something like that, right? So really well built mic. I mean, I'm I'm not going to go through all the details here because many, many other YouTubers have done way better videos than I ever could talking about the build quality and the specs, but I can confirm that it feels just as good in the hand as all of them say it does. So uh, I like, kind of like my camera, which is the a7C. I like the fact that it's simple. There's not too many controls. It'll hopefully do what I need it to and sound great doing it. So let's put this on and give this a shot. But before we do, I do want to show you guys what my new setup for top-down shots like this looks like and also um, how I'm gonna convert from shooting top down like this to using the same arm for booming this guy or you know the boy if I end up keeping that. But uh, yeah, let me show you guys that right now. So as you can see, uh, I got this uh, articulating arm off Amazon after a lot of research and looking at different boom arms and things like that. And What's cool about this is that there's three points of articulation. So there's one where you can rotate right on the clamp using the little screw over here. One where you can articulate the first joint 
And as you can see, the plastic has little teeth in it. So it makes it really, really solid. Once you tighten it, it ain't going anywhere. Uh, and then there's another similar joint over here. And on top, you have a quarter inch uh, thread where you can mount anything. Now, in my case, I've mounted uh, the ball head from my Joby Gorilla Pod in addition to the rig upgrade from Joby, which is nice because you can screw a bunch of different attachments. As you can see right now, I have the Boya MM1 attached to a little arm, and that's what's facing my voice and my mouth during top-down shots like I was just doing uh, during the unboxing. So the audio quality should end up pretty good, and I like the stability and the flexibility of this. And it allows me, of course, to mount uh, quick release plates. It allows me to articulate the arm, put it higher or lower, uh, wherever I need it. And you can unscrew uh, right on top of each joint. You can unscrew the little twist lock and each rod is rotatable also. So you can move this thing around pretty well. I am kind of intrigued by the longevity of the plastic joints, uh, the ones with the teeth to see how long they're actually going to last and they're going to hold stuff for but the materials actually feel pretty good i mean when i took this out of the box the first thing i noticed was that it was cheaply packaged in a way i guess uh everything seemed kind of dirty and unclean and just rushed um so you're not getting a super high-end presentation here but the product itself seems pretty solid so um all in all i think i have about 1700 grams worth of weight on this arm right now and it's pretty solid. Um, it's pretty stable. I think the footage looks pretty good. So let me know what you guys think of, uh, of this setup down below. So with all that out of the way, let's go back to the tripod. I will mount the deity on the camera and do a couple of tests. So uh, let's check it out. Okay, so you may notice now the sound is a little bit different than what it was at the beginning of the video. And that's because I've switched from the Sony 20 millimeter to the Sigma 28 to 70 at 28 millimeters. Uh, this will allow me to keep uh, a better distance, I think, than a wide angle lens from the camera and also determine how good is this Boya, which is on the camera right now, uh, compared to the Deity, which will be on the camera later. Whether you are planning a high level of human interaction or just a casual visit to the planet, this user guide will help you translate human sayings, understand key human concepts such as democracy and sofas, and make sense of human habits and customs. Whether you are planning a high level of human interaction or just a casual visit to the planet, this user guide will help you translate human sayings, understand key human concepts such as democracy and sofas, and make sense of human habits and customs. Whether you are planning a high level of human interaction or just a casual visit to the planet, this user guide will help you translate human sayings, understand key human concepts such as democracy and sofas, and make sense of human habits and customs. Whether you are planning a high level of human interaction or just a casual visit to the planet, this user guide will help you translate human sayings, understand key human concepts such as democracy and sofas, and make sense of human habits and customs. Whether you are planning a high level of human interaction or just a casual visit to the planet, this user guide will help you translate human sayings, understand key human concepts such as democracy and sofas, and make sense of human habits and customs. Whether you are planning a high level of human interaction or just a casual visit to the planet, this user guide will help you translate human sayings, understand key human concepts such as democracy and sofas, and make sense of human habits and customs. So one final test that we're going to do is for uh, noise. So I've got my Asus laptop running in the background. I'm going to shut my mouth for a few minutes. You guys don't have to listen to me anymore. And uh, we're going to listen to what each mic sounds like in complete silence other than ambient sounds. So, uh, this is the Boya MM1 microphone. And this is the Deity D3. So... That's it for the comparisons. Uh, I just listened to them on the computer and it's a pretty stark difference when you haven't edited any of the audio. So here are my thoughts. The Boya for 40 bucks Canadian, uh, less US, is a pretty decent microphone if you get it close enough to your subject, right? Um, it is bassier 
but it does sound more muffled. The deity has way more detail in the highs and mids, uh, way more clarity in the voice, I think. Uh, that's what I'm using right now, by the way, and it's also on the boom arm. Uh, I really like the deity's sound for my voice because I can EQ it, and the fact that it's more detailed and more clear and has a little bit less on the low side means that it's picking up a lot less echo, I found, uh, especially when the, cam the mics were mounted onto the camera. Um, but that's also my personal preference. I think the Deity is a keeper for me. It'll allow me to definitely step up my game sound-wise. Now, of course, the benefit there is that it's not a $300 mic, right? So it's a little bit more expensive than the Boya. And I think for that extra cost, it is worth it for me. I, I don't think that, um, you know, it's a mic that's five times more expensive that's only twice as good, for example, right? Which is why I couldn't justify any of the really expensive ones like the Video Mic Pro Plus or the, even the Pro version of the Deity. Uh, it's why I went with the regular D3. I think it'll do fine just for me. And to be honest, I always use it in a controlled environment. I don't need the gain knob. I don't need all the other features. And for those of you wondering why I don't use an external recorder, well, the whole point of uh, me buying different gear and even the mount and everything like that is I want things to be as simple and as straightforward and as easy as possible. It's why I have the A7C. I, despite the fact that people complain about lack of controls, I actually like it because it's simple. Uh, same thing with the D3 microphone, same thing with the arms that I've bought and everything. I want it to be easy to set up, easy to use, easy to capture what I want to capture. Essentially, I want my gear to get out of my way so that I can make what I want to make. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Uh, let me know if you preferred the Deity or the Boya or if there's another mic that you think I should try out in my quest to improve my videos for you guys. So uh, that's it for this video, guys. If you got something out of this video and it helped you make a decision just like it did for me between various microphones, especially the two that we tried out, uh, like this video and hit that subscribe button to see more content like this one. And if you do want to pick up a Deity D3 or a Boya MM1, if that's your preference, uh, using the links down below, which are affiliate links, helps me out and helps me keep making videos like this one, which are obviously improving drastically every week because of things like new microphones and a great card for white balance. Very handy little tool. Uh, this cost me about 10 bucks, by the way. So, um, you should definitely try that out. I'm noticing a lot less shifting while I'm shooting. All right, I'm going to stop rambling on. See you guys in the next one. Take care.